at the Smokies in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. First of all, we want to say thank you so much to Ripley's for having us out today. We do appreciate it. And we have Lisa, of course, Patty from the G Team, and Clay from Time to Play TV. We're going to be sure to put their links in the description down below. And right now, we're going to give you guys a nice view of the aquarium, show you all the cool stuff there is to do here. Let's go check it out. This is so cool, guys. Look at this giant sea turtle hanging up above everybody. And as you can see, this aquarium is huge. Check out the waterfall back there in the background. They have some tanks down here below. We're going to go check all that out. We're currently headed into the tropical rainforest. Who knows what we're going to see in here? Look at these piranhas, guys. These guys are they're actually very beautiful. They're, they're shimmery. But I would not want to be stuck in the Amazon with them. These guys are called mud skippers. They kind of yeah. look like a cross between a frog and a fish. They are. Really cool looking. They do. They look like a frog. They're awesome. What kind of fish are these? Oh, look, 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 look. Logan. What? Look, this guy just jumped up. Look. Whoa. If he does it, they're crazy. They're bad. They like jumped up out of the water. It was really cool. So this is a moray eel, guys. Cool, he's opening his mouth for you. Those are so cool. Something like so mesmerizing about jellyfish. I don't know what I it know. is. Like almost uh, mystical or something. Yes. Look at this little one. Isn't he cute? Yes. Wow. So at first, guys, I thought that these were lionfish. They're actually called scorpion fish. They, they have to be related. Look at the similarities. They have the, the crest on their back with the quills. Scorpion fish? So I'm guessing they have to be poisonous with that name. So that's a flounder hiding back there. You can see his eyes right behind that large pebble. Those guys are really cool. They're very flat, so they, they hide themselves very well. They have great camouflage. There he is. There's a black tip reef shark swimming around in his pool. Those guys are awesome. Here comes another one. Check it out, guys. One of my favorite sea animals, a sea turtle. Yeah. He's popping his head up there to get a breath of air. Check it out, guys. They have a really cool glass bottom boat over here that goes around in here so you can see the animals up close and personal without the ripple effect of the water. Guys, we are so impressed with the size of this aquarium. Look at this beautiful saltwater enclosure right behind us. They have sharks and sea turtles and rays in there and a huge sawfish. So we're just making our way around and enjoying a leisurely day out here in Gatlinburg. So much fun. It's a lot to see. It's a lot. And it's nice because they have the signs up to tell you what's in the tanks. Yeah, which is really nice. Maybe he goes into detail and explains about the creature. You know, so Very informative. Creatures. Yes. <laughs> sea sea, sea, sea animals. animals. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna cool. we're gonna continue on, guys. We're having a great time. Oh my god. And I'm afraid of heights, but I'm gonna do it. I don't know, guys. We found this sketch bridge here. But we're going to attempt, you know, we're, we're adventurers, so we're going to attempt to make our way through here. I got my girls. You know, what could go wrong? I got my girls. We can do this. We can do this. We got this. Oh my gosh, guys. This is so freaking terrifying. It's actually very sturdy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> we're just over-exaggerating a little. We have to keep you guys entertained, you know? Logan's going for it. Look at this awesome whale skeleton guys that is huge and then down below it looks like a touch tank there and they have some horseshoe crabs that you can touch <laughs> hey guys it's like they're talking to us it is what's up what's up <laughs> people you enjoying your swim yeah it's good it's good <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that guy is awesome. Look, he's turning around to say what's up too. Hey girls. 
got my eye on you. Oh, look at those scales. It's like a sculpture. South America, Amazon. I believe it. Only the Amazon grows things this big. Look at those. These guys are just lounging on the bottom there. Those are catfish, I believe. Got some seahorses in here, guys. Look at this guy. He's coming over to say hello. Hi, baby. Interesting fact. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but the males actually carry the babies. Really? Yeah. You know that? I didn't know that. It's so cool how they anchor themselves with their tail. They grab onto the seagrass there. Their prehensile tail. Where? Oh, there she goes. Patty found Dory. She is. She's lost. Look at her. She's like, where is everybody? What's going on? Hello? Hello? Is she looking for Nemo? <laughs> These are leafy sea dragons, guys. They're related to the seahorse. So graceful. They must look like miniature Loch Ness monsters or something. Look at them just floating by. So next we're headed into the Shark Lagoon. So we're now on the moving walkway to check out some sharks. We saw them from above, so now we're gonna check them out from below. These are black tip reef sharks swimming above us. Is that a barracuda? That's a barracuda. Barracuda. I was just thinking that same thing. <laughs> Gotta get your teeth, dude. Patty just noticed this awesome shark over here to the right. I think it might be a bull shark. Not 100% sure. Wow. It's not every day a giant shark swims over top of you. Or several for that matter. There's our sea turtle. That is so cool. Patty, look. Here. It's following you. Oh, here we go. There are so many giant sharks in here, guys. Look at this one right here. And this one. Well, we can't see above us. Wow, that is really awesome. If you guys look very carefully back there, you can see a ray sleeping on the sand. Wow, this thing goes on and on. This is awesome. Oh, wow. Okay. There is the glass bottom boat, guys. Look. See this? This is the glass bottom boat right above you. Fire. Shark on your shark. That's so funny. It's a shipwreck. We have discovered a shipwreck that is 
completely undiscovered to the outside world, except for the people that are here at Ripley's Aquarium. There's our sawfish. It's crazy. Look at this face. It's like eyes and mouth. I see that. That is his face, isn't it? it looks like a uh, Slimer from the Ghostbusters. The face, doesn't it? These are horseshoe crabs, guys. And they are very prehistoric. This is gonna go ahead and touch one. This is scary. And it's gonna bite her. Just kidding. <laughs> they don't bite. Yeah. We're gonna go touch a jellyfish now. Here's a big one. Wow, that is amazing. Oh wow, that's crazy. <laughs> so after you touch your sea creatures, you can sanitize. They have these nice sanitization stations. Look at this little guy, he came over to say hello. What's up buddy? Oh wow, that was hey dude. Up. This guy's showing off, now you're just showing off. Oh look at that one, look at his underbone. That's awesome. They're very friendly. Cool. They're very friendly. Look how friendly they are. So guys, I just wanted to point out also that they do have a designated quiet space in case you have any sensory challenge people in your party. And they also do provide free headphones. You just have to leave your license with them at the front and then they'll, you know, they'll return it to you. It's just kind of like a deposit just to make sure that you don't walk off with the headphones. These guys are called frogfish and they are awesome. They almost look like they're made out of like silicone really cool I had to look a couple times to make sure they were real but he's obviously breathing so so cool guys so guys I also just wanted to point out to you that there is an abundance of seating all around Ripley's Aquarium so if you have any type of mobility issue at all no worries uh, there's plenty of places that you can just sit down and relax for a little bit and it's very relaxing too so you can just kind of you know, take a couple minutes out to chill and really thoroughly enjoy your day. Now we're headed into Stingray Bay. Oh wow. Spotted Eagle Rays are so cool. There's hammerheads. Oh look at that. There's some of them. There's six inches of acrylic between us and the water. You don't use glass. Glass is way too heavy. The acrylic the is actually 17 times stronger than glass. And their wingspan can get up to eight to nine feet. <laughs> One of these feet along the glass, that's a southern stingray. He can weigh about 150 pounds, this wingspan can get more than some cost. Stingrays do not have teeth, they have grinding plates. We are headed into the penguin enclosure, and we're super excited about this one. There's Chili Willy. Huh? What? Go on, Clay. You're a big kid. You're a big kid. <laughs> Here goes Clay. Oh, there he is. Clay got in there. Oh my god. <laughs> That's hilarious. Look at that oh, one that dancing. <laughs> That's really fun. Very interactive. Probably the most interactive penguin exhibit I've ever seen. There's Logan. You're like right next to them. It's so cool. 
<laughs> oh my god, it's so cool. They're like right next to you. Look at these penguins. He's showing off for us. Hey, buddy. He is showing off for us. Hey. He's doing the penguin dance. This is the Glass Bottom Boat Adventure. We didn't get a chance to go on that today, but we'll be back at some point and I think it's safe to say that when we do we're gonna be sure to ride it and of course no visit would be complete without a trip to the gift shop Let's check out all the cool stuff they have in here they have Christmas ornaments and Ripley's believe it or not books of course you can get yourself a plush penguin they have a couple varieties here They even have a giant plush shark up there. Plenty of sweatshirts and t-shirts. They even have a Ripley's Candy Factory here where you can purchase bulk candy. Look at all the cool pirate stuff they have here, guys. So awesome. And for the person who already has everything, a sequin penguin pillow. Look at that. I guarantee you, for that hard to buy for a person, they do not have one of these. Here's all the shark merchandise. They have shark hoodies and shark tooth necklaces, plenty of shark hats. They even have a Shark Vader shirt. That's the first time I've ever seen that. I have seen Darth Gator. That's the first time for that. As well as Jurassic Shark t-shirts. Really, really cool. I love that. This is a huge gift shop, guys. It would take me quite a while to cover everything, but safe to say you should definitely stop in in your travels on your trip to Ripley's Aquarium. I can guarantee you're gonna find something fun in here. It's something perfect for everyone in your party. I love how the sharks are always watching you as you're shopping. You have all these cool squid and jellyfish hats. I have seen the squid hats before, but I've never seen the jellyfish hats. And those are really cute. Got the trolley with the bears right there in front of the aquarium. There's Anakista right across the street. So beautiful here, guys. Look at this river. All right, guys, we had an awesome time here today at Ripley's Aquarium, and we appreciate you guys hanging out with us today. Once again, Patty and Clay's uh, channels will be in the description down below. Thank you so much for hanging out, and we'll see you on our next Raptor Adventure.